स्टूडेंट सो obviously you will know english so that would not be a problem hopefully so basically today's topic is like uh, if you should choose lithuania as your study destination and basically we'll be discussing about uh, our experience here in lithuania and i would be asking our guest like how was his experience and all of that so by the end of this video actually you would be able to decide whether you should come here and whether you should not if it's if it is for you or it, if it is for uh, not for you so without any further delay let's get into the video and first of all uh, please introduce yourself to the viewers and uh, let them know like okay about you my name is rahib uh, i am studying here informatics and it's my fourth semester it's your fourth semester yeah yeah so for those people who don't know uh, we came together to lithuania like he is my batchmate and also my course mate so like yeah so the first question like i would like to ask you about lithuania is like why did you choose lithuania and like how did you find out about lithuania how did you know like this is the country somewhere <laughs> in the world because most of the people we see they don't know about lithuania so how did you find out about it so so basically i also have no idea about that uh, about this country mm-hmm. that does this country exist or not the when i after my 12th standard i plan to go to apro for the studies mm-hmm. so i decided to go to european countries so mm-hmm. i will have the schengen visa mm-hmm. so and also i will have the opportunity to explore the more yeah more basically you will have the all the european market afterwards the degree like you can do job anywhere if you want so yeah and so so i have decided to study the informatics mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so so in europe mm-hmm. uh, after the st- studies i will have the whole europe in front of me mm-hmm. in terms of opportunities yeah in terms of opportunities and the, right. the networks yeah. this is what all, i always tell you guys like one of the best reason to come to lithuania is like it's a part of schengen so like uh, afterwards you have a lot of opportunities whether you want to set up your business or you want to start up or you want to do the job like you have 28 countries in which you can try afterwards and like uh, like okay you found about lithuania and you decided to come to lithuania and uh, like what was your first impression basically when you landed here like how was <laughs> how did you find lithuania like the weather and everything Uh, as you are from India, and yeah. especially from South India, so like, what was the difference, and how was your first impressions here? Yeah, at the time when I landed here, it was a COVID time. Okay. <laughs> and also there, there wasn't much crowd in the street. Hmm. And also the when I come to first here, I I have faced some difficulty, and mm-hmm. actually the basically in first year I got lost. Hmm. I have no internet. I have no see I don't know how to get this yeah. stuff and to <laughs> and so figure it out yeah so I was lost in the street uh-huh. I have no idea where to go and the taxi driver mm-hmm. and also that drove me in some other address to the wrong really? address yeah I even I didn't know this <laughs> okay and also the I was lost completely okay. I don't know what to do okay and also I approached to one person mm-hmm. an old man I think mm-hmm. he doesn't know how to speak English mm-hmm. and obviously i don't know how to speak russian or lithuanian yeah most of the time like older generation here they don't speak uh, like uh, english most of the time so like yeah it's better if you're planning to come to lithuania another point like you can notice you can start learning some lithuanian like basic very basic for the so that you don't feel this difficulty so yeah yeah and after that the i have the only option remaining for me mm-hmm. to reach out to some person mm-hmm. that you not know, that knows english ha uh-huh. ha i just reach out to a first youth person i see mm-hmm. i just explain my situation to yeah. him and also he told okay i will help you mm-hmm. i just ask him to just uh, book a taxi for me mm-hmm. he just book a bolt for me and so bolt is a, a taxi company here okay yeah i just thank him and also 
and also I just get into the car mm -hmm. and the and the taxi drop me in my exact location where I want to go. Yeah. At that time, I came to know that it is already paid. Okay. Uh, who paid it? Like that person, that Lithuanian person. Ah. Who paid it oh, for. so. That was the there first, you go. <laughs> yeah, that was the first impression. So your I first had. impression was actually good, like yeah. someone paid it's for it. Good, which is it's great. It's great, yeah. Which is rare in like in Europe overall, uh, not just only in Lithuania. It's rare, rare in Europe. Like no one would pay for your taxes. I was spending. not even imagining that mm -hmm. a, a stranger in Europe would pay for your taxes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. what? Did he really do that? Yeah. So yeah, so and the weather was obviously like cold. Uh, you came in winter, right? And yeah, I came in winter and minus twenty, I think something yeah, like it's that. It's kind of between minus fifteen yeah. or twenty. Yeah. So the weather here is like very hard. So make sure when you come here, you make sure like okay, uh, you have the proper clothes with you with, with you, especially a good jacket. So okay, so like in terms of like socializing with people here. Like with Lithuanian people and also with international students who are studying here, like how did you find out the people of Lithuania? Like, what? How would you like uh, describe them? Like, are they friendly? Are they not friendly? Or uh, is it difficult to make friends here? And yeah, yeah. Talking about the sense. social life here, mm -hmm. when you look into the internet and so take the statistics, mm -hmm. it will show us that the most introvert of persons mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. it's like the lithuania have the 67 percentage above 60 percentage mm -hmm. of the peoples are here introverters introverted yeah it doesn't mean that the, i agree with that it doesn't <laughs> mean that the, they are yeah don't not friendly yeah like that they are just introvert yeah if you ask a help from them from a from a stranger in the street obviously they will help yeah but for them it will be difficult to start a conversation yeah, but I, I would definitely agree. Like one time, my car was uh, there was some problem in my car, and you know everyone was passing by, no one was coming to help, and I was stuck in place. So someone stopped by my car and they asked, "Okay, if you need help, we can help." But yeah, so yeah, they are friendly, but you you would be the first one who would start the conversation and who would be the first one to you know communicate to start the communication. Don't expect that they would start the conversation with you. That's not gonna yeah, happen. Also, the main thing I have noticed here: Interview. the people who studied here for the like the three years mm -hmm. have sent to me, "Oh man, they are not friendly. They won't help us." Blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. Uh -huh. The thing is, the people who studied here for a long time, three years or something like that, mm -hmm. they will come here nearly the. They will travel nearly the 5,000 kilometer mm -hmm. from India or Pakistan or some Desi place yeah. to here to Europe mm -hmm. and they will just end up with the Desi people only. Mm -hmm. They hang out with Desi people, they have only Desi people's friends mm -hmm. and also they, they, they don't know what's happening outside Yeah, and definitely. they will change. Definitely. So like the point he's trying to make is like when you come here. Um, instead of just hanging out with the people from your country or from your area you should rather focus on like also hanging out with people local people for example uh, make some new friends so that you would know their culture like how they are and stuff like that so ju don't just remain in your uh, uh, circle like it's good to have uh, friends from your own community I'm, I'm not discouraging that but uh, yeah, we should have in touch with our own yeah we like we, we are in touch with each other even like you know i'm from pakistan he's from india but you know we still are together we were together for two years now but you know we are also sometimes uh, in touch with the local people so uh, yeah it would definitely help you in connecting with people and in yeah it's all about the expanding network yeah yeah, yeah expanding. what will you do after the traveling to the 5000 kilometer uh, yeah to hear you know mm -hmm. and you don't you don't expand your network exactly and also you just uh, send up with your own group mm -hmm. and so you just uh, hang out and chill with your own group yeah you're yeah. not getting anything you are not coming out of your comfort zone basically. yeah so they just want to end up in their comfort zone yeah they don't want to get out of it mm -hmm. and after three four years they will say oh man i don't have anything mm -hmm. to hear um, i hate here europe i just want to go back to my country mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. I agree with that. And like, uh, one of the suggestions I would like to 
to give to the subscribers obviously who, who want to come here is like what kind of people what kind of students should consider lithuania as their study destination specifically like what kind of people should okay they should apply for here and what people should abstain from it they should not apply here like what would you suggest like from your experience like the number one student mm -hmm. who shouldn't apply here mm -hmm. the student or a person mm -hmm. who who is looking for uh, making thousands of euro yeah what do they think as mm -hmm. coming here for the cheap it's like you here i think the tuition fees for masters is 4000 euro yeah something like that exactly and also the living cost is nearly if you are living in the dormitory it will cost around 300 to 400 euro per month that's true if you are under budget you can even end up with a 250 mid lower yeah like a 250 euro mm -hmm. even you, but the surviving here with the 250 euro that's a bit hard mm -hmm. but it's also possible mm -hmm. if you have 3 to 400 euro yeah you are good to go yeah but the yeah most of the time like yeah, you know, people also ask me oh i will come and if, uh, you yeah. know i will also study and i will it's no it's just in the first year i will establish my own business or something yeah, like yeah. it's not going to happen that fast the thing is uh, my point is that uh, mm. if the if the living cost is this much low mm -hmm. and the tuition fees is also this much low yeah obviously the wage you are earning mm -hmm. will be also low that's true yeah the people the most of the thing uh, people will think that uh, if you end up in anywhere in shangan area mm -hmm. you can shake the tree and also you will get a lot of money yeah that's it's the, not going that's a common here. misconception that we have yeah, it's not going <laughs> to happen here yeah. in the in the yeah. that's true if the living cost is low as he said so also your earning is low so it's like it's a balance so yeah that's that's true so what what would you like to mention any other reason like why should people which 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 kind of people should apply rather like yeah for and so the, the first thing you have to consider when you're coming to lithuania mm -hmm. for example if you are taking for for me i took a informatics mm -hmm. and also i have done my research mm -hmm. is there is any opportunity yeah for the informatics in this country for it jobs obviously there is mm -hmm. for it in all over the europe there is a opportunity yeah i i second that yeah that's yeah. true for example if you took any mechanical course mechanical mm -hmm. engineering or something like that there is no much opportunities here in lithuania and uh, most of the people will just come here and also take some uh, like the random degrees mm -hmm. and also for example they will take the mechanical degrees mm -hmm. and also after the after the degree yeah. they won't have any job here yeah. and also plus they don't have any network here that's the main point they don't have the network i think they, they don't have, have the network yeah, they, have they don't the have the yeah opportunity here for example like in id like there there are a lot of jobs in lithuania i like you can search online you can you know that like but in other fields also yeah i would say there are jobs but the main reason is like we don't develop our network so we don't know like no one is referring to us or uh, no one knows like we are here so the main thing is as i said you make connections with people you have uh, so that somebody can refer you later on and you know it's people who would help you at the end of the time yeah the main thing in in, in here the studying in europe mm -hmm. the biggest net you can get mm -hmm. from the erasmus students mm -hmm. they are coming from the outer country so yeah. some from some some time from the even outer europe yeah and also most of the people from germany or some other or some other european country friends yeah. or like that make a good connection with them yeah and also with like this you can expand your network and also the you are exploring the opportunities also yeah that's true so moving on to the next question like uh and like answer me honestly about this question was it worth it to come to lithuania no don't lie because i know what you think so yeah. tell the people the truth was it worth it to come all the way to lithuania okay for studying for generally like how would you describe it for me in my case mm -hmm. yeah it does worth coming yeah uh, the thing is why i say say, say it like that mm -hmm. i have done my research mm -hmm. thoroughly before i come to here mm -hmm. 
I know this country is like this, this country has this negativity, this country has this positivity. Mm -hmm. Obviously I know if I pay for that, uh, my tuition fees is like 2900 euro. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously I am uh, so getting something for that money. Yeah. Uh, I am not a person, uh, that kind of person who is paying 2900 euro mm -hmm. and expecting for 10,000 euro, something like that. Yeah, obviously the... The, you are getting the value as long as you are getting the value it's good yeah, yeah for me um, I just want to study and so make a good connection with people and also expand my network and also find some opportunities for me basically I don't have any future plans currently I don't have any future plans to stay here after my studies uh, most probably I will go back to my country mm -hmm. it's because of the uh, in India, so the, in India, there is a lots of opportunity for IT. Mm -hmm. We'll see that. We'll see that. It's because because I, I don't think so. You'll go back. <laughs> yeah, it's because of you. It's because <laughs> you might tell it's a, it's a rival country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah, but I would I would agree to that. Like yeah, in India, like there is a booming market in IT. So yeah, for there me, is a lot of opportunity. For me, if I have an opportunity to stay in my country, why would I end up in a European country? If I if my whole family is in India, mm -hmm. yeah, for me it will be better. So, what like another question that people usually ask is like, are you satisfied with the university, like the quality of studies and everything, and teachers, how the teachers are, and if they are like strict or if the study is difficult, like hard to get marks here, is it like, or is it same like India? How would you differentiate like? Pakistan, India, and Saudi. Okay, so the passing here it's not that much difficult. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, if you submit all, your, all of your assignment, mm -hmm. the assignment weightage is the mark weightage is like thirty three percentage mm -hmm. in overall. A fifty percentage is a is a passing yeah. passing mark. Yeah. Passing is not that much difficult. Mm -hmm. um, and so when it's uh, talking about the quality. Mm -hmm. To be honest, most of the professors here doesn't speak that good English. I would, I would like to point out that I don't know if some pro, if some of our professor is watching this video, <laughs> but the thing is, yeah, because I am saying the truth. Yeah, yeah, because you are saying the truth. Because yeah, I would agree. With, some of them speak very good yeah, English, but this. but I would say like eighty percent. They don't speak much, uh, much English. So yeah, sometimes we are like okay. What, what did you just say? <laughs> so yeah, I think there is some improvement that is needed in the communication. But yeah, but overall, like in, in terms of studies, are, are you satisfied? Like if you are like, are you learning some new things here in terms of practically and everything? Here? Yeah, so for this question, I cannot reply that, that quickly. It's because mm -hmm. of the, we, are, we are studying IT and you yeah. all know so the, the degree IT, mm -hmm. it needs some self study. Yeah. It needs some I think self every study. degree needs self study. <laughs> but I, but yeah in IT you need to put in it. In IT yeah. we need we need some self study. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, yeah they will just sh uh, show the path so, to so, us. So let's 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 just put this question this way. Like on a scale of one to ten, how much you would give for the quality of study say? I would give seven. Seven? Yeah. Alright, yeah, so alright, 7 is not bad. It's because I paid like 2,900 euros. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah, to, you know, yeah, I, I know. So, what advice like would you give to the students who want to come here? Or any tip or advice? Or any tip about mindset or like... Yeah, the... Number one tip I have to give to the student, I, I don't know if so no. it's happening in the Pakistan, mm -hmm. but it does happening in India. Okay. The agencies mm -hmm. from India, mm -hmm. they will say Lithuania is like that, Lithuania is like this. You That's a very good point, yeah. by the way. I get all the times my uh, DMs in my Instagram, like, oh, which consultant is the best, this one, this one. Guys, do this. Uh, do all the process by yourself. Uh, I think your your point of view is same. Yeah, the thing is, uh, the person who is saying this. Yeah, he's never they, been to Lithuania. Yeah, 
he might doesn't even have the passport passport <laughs> wow. yeah that's true that's true yeah he will say this is like that in lithuania it will be like that like that like that. my agency mm-hmm. they say that there there will be a tram tram yeah there will be trams for the transportation system yeah. okay and when i get to the congress okay. <laughs> where is the tram there is one only one train <laughs> no trams okay yeah, there is no tram Yeah. yeah but consult is it there is a like this in the I, i to be honest i thought that this mm-hmm. person been been in lithuania for uh, for a while i thought like that mm-hmm. the the way he speak mm-hmm. it's like that mm-hmm. he spe- he he speak like he saw this in lithuania mm-hmm. he speaks like that okay okay but yeah they don't have the ground they don't know the ground reality anything they would just tell you anything to convince you so at the end of the day it's your own decision take it carefully and yeah uh, also the thing is uh, if you want to know the more about the things mm-hmm. and also the most of the not most the all university are providing uh, so providing the mentors yeah um, i think the so there is a one application called unibody unibody yeah you can yeah. just go there and you know from every university there are some international students ambassadors that you can contact and if you have any questions regarding the study apart from this channel you can ask there so yeah you that's a good point you raised for the students who are who usually have a lot of questions in their mind yeah that's a good advice so what would be the your concluding remarks about everything about all all of your experience here in Lithuania for 2 years how, what would be the your concluding remarks for me it's peace okay for personally it's peace mm-hmm. the love yeah. what i was looking for the a peace mm-hmm. and also i just want to do my things mm-hmm. and move on mm-hmm. and also the that is happening to me for uh-huh. me Yeah, for me, uh, so there is no that much negativity. Mm-hmm. Obviously, there is uh, some negativity, mm-hmm. but uh, for me, positivity is more. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. So yeah, guys, as you as you heard to Rahib, like I would completely agree with his point of view. Yeah, if you are coming here, you should really think about it. Like, uh, make sure like. Uh, you really put in the time to think whether you should go to lithuania because in lithuania one thing is sure it will take a lot of time for you to like uh, get settled or get into the system and it will work gradually if you will think like oh i will go and you know i will start doing jobs or i will start doing this and that a lot of students are like doing the you know the odd jobs and they think like oh we are making a lot of money this and that So this is not going to happen like okay yeah, you can they are making lots of money they are making is that they are spending here also yeah but the thing is main thing is they are compromising on their studies if you are working like uh, 8 or 12 hours a day you are compromising your studies obviously you will end up getting yeah, paid the thing is uh, for example if they if a person is working for the straight to 10 hours day yeah uh, most of the time like people ask me oh, can we manage our fee by working there and this and that so yeah you can do like for example if it is summer time and it is holiday go for it like work 12 hours a day if you want no worries but during the term time i would say no do not cross the limit of 20 hours a week like work as much so that you can uh, make your living that's it uh, don't overwork yourself and give some time to your studies because at the end of the day you want to end up doing a uh white collar job like in your <laughs> in your field and not some in, end up some in some restaurant after the graduation yeah so put in the time there and uh, yeah by for the time being yeah you can continue your jobs and everything so yeah i hope like it would be more clear for you guys to decide now whether you should come to lithuania for studies or whether you should not like Uh, if you really like this video you can give this video a thumbs up and uh, if you are not have not already subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, yeah that's it if you have any questions in mind you can put in the comment section down below in the video so i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye